Now I've done a few mobility drills that uh, require a stick. Now I find that anybody that is really struggles to put the, a stick behind their neck, holding the stick, a bit like when you do a squat, where you struggle, some people really struggle to do a squat. They probably find that their real challenge is thinking, why is it like not uncomfortable in that position? Now, what I would recommend firstly is to go into doing the uh, trigger release ball or trigger release psoas on the chest, arms and the shoulders area to help release any tension that's in that area. Now, this is a great way for you to now get used to being externally rotated and putting, creating an ad adduction to put the bar behind your back. So some of the common things that I see that are uh, gonna hinder your progress is making sure that your wrists don't do more of the movement. So trying to move the wrist, look how much the bars, the, the sticks moving just by moving the wrist. Trying to avoid any wrist movement and just thinking about moving through the elbows and the elbows are parallel, as you can see, to, to the wrist. So when we set up now, again, we're using the Swiss ball because what it does is actually makes us spatially aware of how to keep our glutes on, how to keep our legs active, and also how we don't hyper extend so much to do the exercise. So if you're feeling like your lower back's doing a lot of the work, you can adjust the pressure slightly. So you can see if I'm like trying to like lift the stick, we want to try and, well, you will naturally want to try and avoid doing that. So as mentioned, you'll see here what I've done is I've, instead of me doing a normal grip, I've turned my thumb over. So all I've done is simply brought my thumb over and I've pointed that these, the foot, the finger next to the thumb forward. Reason being is because a lot of times people put a lot of pressure through that part of the hand. And what it does is it opens out the elbows, which we're trying to avoid. From here, as you can see, I'm focusing on my posture now here. Okay, so it's gonna be like it's a slight incline that I've got rather than a flat surface. From there, I'm going to keep my arms straight, point straight as high as I can, go high, high, high. You'll feel your body fighting. As you can see, I'm not gonna drop my neck. I'm gonna keep my neck and my chin tucked in. And I'm gonna drive my elbows, keeping, trying to avoid touching the stick with my neck. Up, punch, and then down. So we're trying our best to avoid touching the, the head. It doesn't matter if it does. But again, the common mistakes I see is people not locking out the arms, using the wrist to, to lift, and then they end up doing stuff like that, letting their head drop. And half the movement is, as you can see, through the wrist. So we want to try and make sure that everything is nice and aligned. Punch, lift, high as you can, keep the wrist straight, And up. I would recommend anywhere between five to ten repetitions, two to three, one to two sets. A good way for you to uh, improve your thoracic extension, uh, improve your back posture. In fact, it's very good for everything, just a posture exercise. And yes, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop me a DM at any time.